The last thing I want to cover today is a back extension. I like to start calling these hip extensions um, for the reason that back extensions kind of um, start you thinking about using your, your back rather than your glutes. Um, they're, they're not the same thing, okay? So back extensions and, glute and hip extensions are not the same thing. Um, in my mind, people overuse their lower back anyway, so they don't need to work on that, okay? Maybe um, if, if that was a chink in the chain where your lower back seems to be the weakest link, yes, I would, I would recommend back extensions, but hip extensions uh, are, are a little bit different. Uh, first of all, when we size up the GHD, um, we want to have our hip hanging off the end slightly. So basically the hip bone, uh, if this was the pad, my hip bone wants to be off the end. So uh, on this one in particular, I'm at 12, so I'm about 5 or 10. Um, you always want to shine on the side a, a, a little bit longer than a little bit shorter. So you can see that my hip is off the end of this. Now, once I'm in this position, I, I allow my feet to, to hit the top. My belly's tight, my glutes are on at the top. That's what's supporting now, as I come back down, I keep the belly on, and then I relax the glutes and get a full stretch. This is actually a nice little position because it kind of decompresses the spine. Uh, but from here, this is where you need to be squeezing your ass like you've got a dollar bill between your cheeks, driving them forward through the pad. So I'll do it nice and slowly so you can see, you can see my, my beautiful butt nipple here. So I squeeze. And now I can kind of, I, I'm neutral here, I'm not overextended, but you can definitely see that my butt is on, and now my body's in a neutral position. If I really, really squeeze, I can almost get over, uh, hyperextended through my hip. Now, I really don't advocate this. If this is where your full range of motion is, great, but we definitely don't want to sacrifice that neutral spine position. As we go back down, we keep the belly on tight, we allow the hip to flex, and we go back down to this position. So I'll show you a few reps how I would do this. So I squeeze. I control back down. Squeeze, control back down. I don't lift my chest. I don't get overextended. That'll shut the hip off. It won't allow you to fully, fully contract because the psoas is now fully tight. I keep the ribcage down. I come back to this neutral position. Squeeze, belly tight. Squeeze. That's it. Uh, a great way to kind of get this idea is just take your hand, place it on your butt. If you don't feel the muscles contracting, then you're not doing it properly. Um, you don't have to go all the way to a parallel position at first if you cannot contract your glutes fully. So what I mean by that is, some people who lack either the range of motion because of the tight flexors, or they just lack the uh, mind-body connection, the kinesthetic awareness to fully extend their hips and their glutes. In this case, it would look like this. They get to about this position, and then nothing else happens. That's fine for them. What I don't want to see is this. Squeeze, and then extend. Again, what we're doing is training movement pattern. If you train the movement of squeeze and then overextend, then you're gonna, that's what you're gonna be doing when you get into a workout. If you train extension, that's what you're gonna be doing in your workout. So we're trying to extend from the hips, from our glutes, using our glutes to extend our body, keeps our, our spine neutral, it's a more efficient movement, um, and it's using musculature that will allow you to get um, more power and more efficiency. They don't call it the, glute maximum, uh, the gluteus maximus for nothing. Um, so if, if you want more information like this, uh, contact me, come see me at CrossFit Delray Beach. My name is Sean LaFlock, head performance coach at CrossFit Delray Beach. Train hard, everybody.